gravity like flips severely. Now this is a little bit disorientating. For some reason I can't like What the hell? Sweetness. Yeah, things are gonna get like really confusing for everybody now. Okay, I don't want to deal with those things right now. <laughs> Oh, there's two of them there. Okay, this is starting to get really weird. Oh, and this one, like, every step is like, bam, bam, bam. Jesus. I bet this makes her feel fat or something. Go home and, like, get even more skinnier. I think I travel faster. Well, oh, hell no. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, these are things I can kill with one hit now with the screw attack. But I gotta make my mark on the first shot. Aww. I want that, because it's an e-recovery tank. Guess what? I kind of need a... Uh, something to help me get past all this gravity BS. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and... Wow, how is he able to do a wall jump normally? Alright, you just gotta keep on pressing the 2 button as fast as possible. There's like no other way around it. Same thing goes for here. So as soon as you like let go or whatever. Oh wait, no you don't. I thought you did. Get like a good jump off of that uh, grapple beam jump thingy. I think right here. Yeah, this is where all oh, everything stops being all thump 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 thumping. I know how annoying that can get. Thank you for telling me. Sector Zero. Almost there. What could this be? Now this fight was very interesting, I believe. I love this fight. If I don't know if we fight it now or yet. But you can tell that we're about to fight something, obviously. Just get that feeling in the air. Just sense it. See, look at that little tail thing up there. Let's see if I can actually see it from the other side. Does anyone recognize it, by the way? wonder if anyone can recognize that. affects gravity. What do you get from it when you kill it? It's the nightmare, everybody, from Metroid Fusion. And quite frankly, I don't like this thing. Ugh, what the hell is wrong with its face? And it seems more skinnier and flimsier. Shouldn't be too hard to kill, though. Okay, if I can actually dodge everything. Now all we need to do is just like... Well, that's no fair. Now we gotta just do is blast him in the face with a super missile. It's honestly the most effective way to go about with it. Oh, 
Honestly, I think this boss fight's really easy. There's a couple times I've had problems with it. But, you know. Gotta keep on firing at this thing. Right, right here. It's hard to jump over that because of the stupid gravity being like anal retentive. You also gotta be like really careful when firing at that thing. Now it's gonna start doing this. And we gotta wait for it to turn around. When it starts doing that too, it gets really annoying and repetitive. And it's gonna keep on doing this. Isn't it now? Okay, fire, 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 fire. I love how everything like attracts to it too. No, no. Ah, son of a bitch! All right, now we gotta just blast it one more time. There we go. Now reveal your ugly face. This will prove that it looks like the nightmare too. There it is. Looks nasty as hell. Poor thing. If only it wasn't trying to kill me. That'd be completely fine with it being alive. The thing is, it sounds cute, but it looks ugly. <laughs> its eyes are like all open and creepy looking. Oh hey, look, I'm, I'm not controlling anything. Wow. Oh man, the ship is moving. What's going on? Something's not right. Things are moving. Load. Here we go, we're going to Sector Zero. Don't worry, you're not going to hear like any Torian music. I, I was kind of hoping. <sighs> I'm kind of depressed that we're not seeing any Torian music. Things do get a little bit more interesting though. So if you're expecting for a little bit of a twist, then, yeah, prepare yourself. Please don't tell me I have to fight anything here. Welcome to Sector Zero. An insanely dangerous part of the game. This is probably the most dangerous. Place to be in the game. At the same time it might not be. Here we go. She's walking in. Starting to get scary. What's that? Is that the deleter? No, he was back in sector one. No way he could have got there that quickly. Could it be space pirates? No way, because they don't they don't know that it's there. And it just flew, and I don't think space pirates fly, especially the models that they have right now. What could that be? Oh god! Oh, <gasps> Holy shit, come on! I knew that was gonna happen, but like, I thought you had to look to the right and then look to the left. Mother of God! Oh, mother... I gave myself like a huge headache just now. There's so many times I've like jumped and...
I think it's uh, quite honestly drive me nuts that I've jumped so many times in this game. <sighs> and I expected all these things to like jump out at me, but oh god, someone shot her. Could be the deleter. It can't be the deleter. It just can't be. I gotta urinate, everybody. I wish I could go right now, but uh, guess I gotta make myself wait. And there's the Metroid. Now she's very defenseless. What's gonna happen to her? Oh my god, it's getting angry. I can hear it. Oh god. What's going on? Someone get a Reaper? Uh oh, it might be the deleter. He could have been tracking her. But no one can keep up to the speed booster. Other than Sonic the Hedgehog. Samus. It's Adam. Can you hear my voice? I read you. Loud and clear. Adam. She's pissed at him like, you fucking shot me in the back. You know what lies up ahead. The Metroids and the artificial intelligence that controls them. The fruit of the Galactic Federation's twisted project. Yes. So why did you shoot me? You can't destroy these Metroids. What? What do you mean? Sector Zero Metroids most likely can't be frozen. Oh, shit. What are you talking about? There's a strong likelihood that the Metroid's mortal weakness, the vulnerability to cold, has been overcome through genetic manipulation. And if that's true, there's no way you can destroy them. But that baby earlier, the infant Metroid, you were able to freeze it. True. My guess is that it was because it was still in a larval stage. But who can say? One thing's for certain. They're definitely propagating Metroids. Developing bioweapons with an obvious and fatal flaw would be suicide. It's hard to imagine the military mass producing defective weapons. Then again, none of this makes sense. Metroids are lethal. Their extinction was a wise decision. And now, since no one has the technology to defeat them, they cannot be allowed to exist. Okay, fine. If I just hear some, I just, I just think I'm thinking of something. What First if it was? I need to know why you're credited as the creator of the Metroid military program report. There it is. <laughs> it still makes you wonder. <laughs> It's still a living animal. I received the request to write the report from Galactic Federation headquarters. In that report, I outlined the potential dangers of such a program. Well, actually, if you think about it, categorically why it shouldn't be attempted. It was a man-made thing. Well, not man-made. It was Chozo. Listen. It was pretty much a, a Chozo thing. In the Federation, co-opted my report. Fight back the parasites the on a uh, the parasite organisms on SR-388 because they were pretty much gonna kill off the Chozo, and the Metroids were the only way to get rid of them, and yeah, that's kind of how it happened. Samus, you'll be fully recovered soon. I have several missions for you. This facility appears to be on an intercept course with Galactic Federation HQ. Uh-oh. If what Madeline Bergman said is correct, there's a distinct possibility that this is the start of an attack by MB against the Federation. Um, uh oh. One way or another, some sort of attack is clearly imminent. It looks like a bottle. That's why it's called the bottle. You have to ship. find a way to divert the ship off its intercept course. 